In this one is problem 1.19. It says an airplane engine pod is suspended from the wing by the strut AG. The propeller turns clockwise when viewed from the behind. The weight of the engine is 11 kN and may be assumed to act at G. Find the force and moment exerted by the strut onto the wing at A when the engine is delivering 17.5 kN thrust and 20,000 Nm of torque. So basically we have to find out what is happening at this location. A. How much force and moment is transmitted from the engine propeller assembly to the wing. So for this purpose it will be better if I can isolate the aircraft wing and the attached strut and the engine propeller assembly here. So this one is here. So now uh, from the Newton's third law between these two points if there is a force F acting here there will be an equal and opposite force F here because their directions are different I am marking this as F dash. Similarly if there is a moment M here there will be exactly opposite moment here mark it M dash. Now the other forces on the system are this weight which is 11 kN and there is a thrust I am assuming that this is passing through the center of the propeller and this is 17.5 kN and then there is this torque. Now because it says that when we are looking at from the back side it rotates clockwise and if I look at any propeller if the motion of the propeller is clockwise the moment on the propeller is going to be anti-clockwise so if this is rotation your torque or the moment is going to be opposite to it so when you are viewing from the back side let's attach a coordinate system this is x and this one is y and if you try to use your right hand to look at the moment direction so if you follow from the back side and go clockwise it looks like the propeller is in the positive x direction rotation so if the rotation is in is positive x your moment here is going to be in the negative x direction okay so to draw that moment what i can do here is i can use double arrows for the moment and this is your torque which is 20 kilo newton meter on the model so now what we will do is we will first analyze this part here and do the force and moment balance if I do the force balance here I can see force vector F which is this one right here plus 17.5 kilo newtons and this is going to be in the I cap direction and then minus 11 kilo newtons which is going to be in the J cap direction equals to 0 now we know that F is equals to minus F dash because their directions are opposite. So we can rewrite this 11 kilo newtons J cap equals to 0. So from this directly we can figure out the forces on the aircraft wing. So this one is the wing here are nothing but 17.5 i cap minus 11 j cap kilonewtons. So these are the forces that we have got. Now the next is the moment calculation. So let's try to do the moment. So first thing first, this m appears there. Second one is this one because it's pointing in the negative direction. So I'll write it minus 20 kilo newton meter high cap now we have to see the moments because of your thrust force and your weight so in terms of dimensions this right here is 1.5 not very visible so this one right here is 1.5 and from here to here three meters okay 
So now for a moment, uh, let's use that R cross F that we have learned earlier. So for your weight, if you are taking moment about this point A, then we can write your R vector as 1.5 negative J cap because you are going down plus 3 I cap because you are going in the right side direction and your force here is minus 11 kilo newtons J cap and remember these dimensions are in meters. Similarly, uh, if I assume that thrust is acting right at the propeller and we do not know this distance, so let us assume that this is given L and you will see that this will disappear because of the cross product. So again for this part, minus 1.5 J cap plus L I cap crossed with the thrust value which is 17.5 I cap, this whole thing equals to 0. Now again, I can replace M with I can replace this m with minus of m dash. So minus of m dash goes here minus 20 i cap. Since all the terms are kilonewton meter, I'll, I'll write it later. Minus 20 i cap goes here. Now if you notice here, this j cap and j cap, this cross cross product will be zero. So this 3 i cap cross 11 j cap. So this is going to give us minus 33 i cross j is going to give you k cap so now this is done now we come here so this is j cross i so this is going to give us minus k cap there is a negative sign already there so 1.5 into 17.5 the plus sign again k cap equals to 0 so now if i write m dash here and move everything to the right hand side you will notice that we get minus 20 I cap and combining these two minus 6.75 K cap and the unit is kilo newton meter. So at the joint the engine propeller is delivering this much force and this much movement to the aircraft wing. So that is the final answer.